Hi, and welcome to another episode in our series of short videos visiting Israel's 50 must-visit Bible places. As usual, we'd like to thank the Bible Archaeology Digest for providing the pictures and information. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at Beersheba, or Beersheba. Be'er is the Hebrew word for a well, and Sheba means seven, or an oath. This gives rise to several possible derivations for the origin of the name Beersheba, or Be'er Sheba. In Genesis 21:31, the oath between Abraham and Abimelech suggests the idea of well of the oath. Other possibilities include the seven wells dug by Isaac, i.e. seven wells. The oath between Isaac and Abimelech in Genesis 26:33 also gives weight to well of the oath. Yet again, the seven lambs that sealed Abraham and Abimelech's oath, suggesting the well of the seven might also be its source. The term Dan to Beersheba became one of the proverbial ways in scripture of designating the whole promised land. It is a distance of about 144 miles and can sometimes be reversed to Beersheba to Dan. However, it is much more than just a geographical description, with Dan being in the far north and Beersheba in the south. This phrase encompasses the great differences between the two sites and the different ways of life required in both places. Dan is one of the sources of the River Jordan, providing water for the whole of modern Israel. Tel Dan, in many ways, resembles the biblical description of the Garden of Eden, a luscious, fertile area with water in places literally bubbling out of the ground. Beersheba, on the other hand, lies at the southern margin of the cultivatable land of the Negev. Here, it becomes increasingly difficult to grow anything south of Beersheba. Although, in ancient biblical times, archaeology does seem to suggest that there may have been periods where this area was much more fertile, or at least civilizations developed water technologies that made the land much more fertile. Dan was therefore a place where life was relatively easy, the trees and the bubbling water created a natural air conditioning. Beersheba, in contrast, was a place where you had to struggle to scratch a living out of the ground under the strong, hot glare of the sun. 